welcome back to the channel so we started NCIT practical book study and we are on the chapter third so today we will start the chapter four and this is about map projections this chapter is very very important as I mentioned in my last video and sometimes leads us to confusion so let's start what is map projection why are map projections drawn what are the different types of projections which projection is most suitably used for which area in this chapter we will seek the answers of such essential questions okay so map projection is the method of transferring the gratitude of latitude and longitude on a plane surface it can also be defined as the transformation of spherical network of parallels and meridians on a plane surface as you know that the earth on which we live in is not flat it is geoid in shape like a sphere a globe is the best model of the earth due to this property of the globe the shape and sides of the continents and oceans are accurately shown on it. It also shows the directions and distances very accurately. The globe is divided into various segments by the lines of latitude and longitude. The horizontal lines represent the parallels of latitude and the vertical lines represent the meridians of the longitude. The network of parallels and meridians is called graticule. This network facilitates drawing of maps. Drawing of the graticule on a flat surface is called projection. So here are so many uh, key terms and their definitions. They are defined very very well. Okay. So you can read it again. That uh, let's repeat with me. Map projection is the method of transferring the graticule of latitude and longitude on a plane surface it can also be defined as the transformation of spherical network of parallels and meridians on a plane surface as you know that the earth on which we live in is not flat it is geoid in shape like a sphere a globe is the best model of the earth due to this property of the globe the shape and size of the continents and oceans are accurately shown on it it also shows the directions and distances very accurately the globe is divided into various segments by the lines of latitude and longitude. The horizontal lines represent the parallels of latitude and the vertical lines represent the meridians of the longitude. The network of parallels and meridians is called graticule. This network facilitates drawing of maps. Drawing of the graticule on a plane surface or flat surface is called a projection. But a globe has many limitations. It is expensive. It can neither be carried everywhere easily. This is very, 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 very much limitation. Nor can a minor detail be shown on it. Definitely not. Besides, on the globe, the meridians are semicircles and the parallels are circles. Okay. So meridians are semicircles and parallels are circles. When they are transferred on a plane surface, they become inter intersecting straight lines or curved lines so these are the limitations now need for map projection why we need this the need for a map projection mainly arises to have a detailed study of a region which is not possible to do from a globe similarly it is not easy to compare two natural regions on a globe therefore drawing accurate large-scale maps on a flat paper is required now the problem is how to transfer these lines of latitude and longitude on a flat sheet. If we stick a flat paper over the globe, it will not coincide with it over a large surface without being distorted. If we throw light from the center of the globe, we get a distorted picture of the globe in those parts of paper away from the line or point over which it touches the globe. The distortion increases with increase in distance from the tangential point. So tracing all the properties like shape, size and directions. So these are the three major components. Shape, size and direction of a map. 
एटसेट्रा फ्रॉम ए ग्लोब इज नियरली इम्पॉसिबल बिकॉज द ग्लोब इज नॉट ए डेवलप्ड सर्फे डेवलपेबल सर्फेस इन अ मैप प्रोजेक्शन वी ट्राई टू रिप्रेजेंट अ गुड मॉडल ऑफ एनी पार्ट ऑफ द अर्थ इन इट्स ट्रू शेप एंड डायमेंशन बट डिस्टोर्सन इन सम फॉर्म और द अदर इज इनएविटेबल टू अवॉइड दिस डिस्टोर्सन वेरियस मेथड्स हैव बीन डिवाइज एंड मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोजेक्शन आर ड्रॉन ड्यू टू दिस रीजन मैप प्रोजेक्शन इज ऑल्सो डिफाइंड एज द स्टडी ऑफ डिफरेंट मेथड्स विच हैव बीन ट्राइड टू ट्राइड फॉर ट्रांसफरिंग द लाइन्स ऑफ ग्रेटिक्यूल फ्रॉम द ग्लोब टू ए फ्लैट सीट ऑफ पेपर वाउ सो दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कि मैप प्रोजेक्शन इज ऑल्सो डिफाइंड एज द स्टडी ऑफ डिफरेंट मेथड्स विच हैव बीन ट्राइड फॉर ट्रांसफरिंग द लाइन्स ऑफ ग्रेटिक्यूल फ्रॉम द ग्लोब टू ए फ्लैट सीट ऑफ पेपर राइट now see the glossary part here uh, this is very much important for students as well as for anybody so what is map projection it is a system of transformation of the spherical surface onto a plane surface it is carried out by an orderly and systematic representation of the parallels of latitude and the meridians of longitude of the spherical arc or part of it on a plane surface on a conveniently chosen scale we know about scale then lexodrome or rumb line so it is a straight line drawn or marketer's projection joining any two points having a constant bearing it is very useful in determining the directions during navigation so that is called lexodrome or rumb line remember this it is used in or drawn on marketer projection joining any two points having a constant bearing it is very useful bearing means i think direction you know see both points are located towards the north or like that something uh, actually i forgot it is very useful in determining the directions during navigation the great circle definitely uh, the equator it represents the shortest route or no ho oh, here it is not it represents the shortest route between two points which is often used both in air and ocean navigation that is called great circle wow so here see concept is different right great circle terminology have a different meaning the great circle it represents the shortest route between two points which is often used both in air and ocean navigation not on land but air and ocean navigation we use this concept the great circle okay next homolographic projection a projection in which the network of latitudes and longitudes is developed in such a way that every graticule on the map is equal in area to the corresponding graticule on the globe it is also known as the equal area projection then orthomorphic projection a projection or in which the correct shape of a given area of the earth surface is preserved see so homolographic projection is equality projection the area does not get distorted here that is the homolographic projection here right and orthomorphic projection where the shape of the earth shape of the earth remains preserved or shape of the earth is preserved or not distorted that is called orthomorphic projection orthomorphic you can see this morphology morphic morphic so this term related to shape that you can remember this uh, and homolographic so this takes care about the uh, takes care about the uh, equal area that means area of on the map on the globe okay so homolographic projection is related to the equal area projection and orthomorphic projection is preserves preserving the shape of the earth remember these two term homolographic and orthomorphic projection let's come to this part elements of map projection one reduced earth a model of the earth is represented by the help of a reduced scale on a flat sheet of paper this model is called the reduced earth this model should be more or less spheroid having the length of polar diameter lesser than equatorial and on this model the network of graticule can be transferred parallels of latitude these are the circles running round the globe parallel to the equator and maintaining uniform distance from the poles each parallel lies wholly in its plane which is at right angle to the axis of the earth they are not of equal length they range from a point at each pole to the circumference of the globe at the equator they are demarcated demarcated at 0 degree to 90 degree north and south latitudes 
then meridians of longitude these are semi circles drawn in north south direction from one pole to the other and the two opposite meridians make a complete circle that is circumference of the globe each meridian lies wholly in its plane but all intersect at right angle along the axis of the globe there is no obvious central meridian but for convenience and arbitrary choice is made namely the meridian of greenwich which is demarcated at 0 degree longitudes it is used as reference longitude to draw all other longitudes now global property in preparing a map projection the following basic properties of the global surface are to be preserved by using one or the other methods distance between any given points of region shape of the region size or area of the region in accuracy direction of any any point of the region bearing to another point now classification of map projection so here you can see that the bearing term is related to the direction classification of map projections map projections may be classified on the following basis so this classification part is very very important uh, you know uh, so not classification but the types of class uh, map projection we will come on that this is not that so drawing techniques on the basis of method of construction projections are generally classified into perspective non perspective and conventional or mathematical so perspective projections can be drawn taking the help of a source of light by projecting the image of a network or of parallels and meridians of a globe on developable surface so that is perspective projection right it uh, with the uh, it take the help of a light and project the image of network of parallel meridians of a globe on developable surface that is called perspective projection non perspective projections are developed without the help of source of light or casting shadow on surfaces so there is a simple definition perspective projection have lights non perspective projection has no light okay uh, then mathematical or conventional projections are those which are derived by mathematical computation and formulated and have little relation to the projected image that is mathematical or conventional now developable surface so a developable surface is one which can be flattened and on which a network of latitude or longitude can be projected just your piece of paper a non-developable surface is one which cannot be flattened without shrinking breaking or Creasing that is the uh, globe. A globe or spherical surface has the property of non developable surface, whereas a cylinder, a cone, and a plane have the property of developable surface. So, here it is talking about the shape and uh, etc. So, globe is a circle like sphere, so you cannot uh, uh, make it totally flat, it will, dish, it will uh, turn away here and there. On the basis of nature of developable surface, the projections are classified as cylindrical, conical, and geometrical projections. So, this classification is very, very important. Uh, their properties and all. So, we will read it very carefully. So, on the basis of nature of developable surface, the projections are classified as cylindrical, conical, genital projections. Right? Okay, cylindrical, conical, and genital projections. Now, cylindrical projections are made through the use of cylindrical developable surface. A paper made cylinder covers the globe and the parallels and meridians are projected on it. When the cylinder is cut open, it provides a cylindrical projection on the plane sheet. So, imagine like this. Here you can see. Conversions from a globe to a flat surface produces distortions in area, shape, and direction. So, if I, uh, if we uh, do this, so this is the reduced uh, earth and reduced form is globe, and then it is flattened. So, we will get like this shape. Okay, Dis distractions or distortions. Okay, but when we doing the projections part, let's see. This is the uh, cylindrical projection. Sorry, uh, this is conical projection. So, we'll get a map like this. Okay, so this is developable surface, and why where is the, mm, the cylindrical projection? Here you can see this is a cylindrical projection, right? So we'll read all these. Okay, okay, so go back. Where were we? Yes, here. Right, the cylindrical projections are made through the use of cylinder cylindrical developable surface. 
A paper made cylinder covers the globe and the parallel and meridians are projected on it. When the cylinder is cut open, it provides a cylindrical projection on the plane sheet. A conical projection is drawn by wrapping a cone around the globe. You see the cone shape, ice cream. Globe and the shadow of graticule net of it projected on it. When the cone is cut open, a projection is obtained on a flat sheet. Genital projection is directly obtained on a plane surface when plane touches the globe at a point and the graticule is projected on it. Generally, the plane is so placed on the globe that it touches the globe at one at one of the poles. This projection. So, for uh, projections in the polar areas, we use the genital projection. This is very important. These projections are further subdivided into normal, oblique, or polar as per the position on the plane touching the globe. Okay. So, if the developable surface touches the globe at the equator, it is called a normal. Uh, it is called the equatorial or normal projection. If it it is tangential to a point between the pole and the equator. It is called the oblique projection and if it is tangential to the pole it is called the polar projection so this is the classification the global property as mentioned above the correctness of area shape and direction distance are the uh, four major global properties to be preserved in a map area shape direction and distance okay so these are the properties of a map area shape direction and distance but none of the projections can maintain all these properties simultaneously therefore according to specific need a projection can be drawn so that the desired quality may be retained that on the basis of global properties projections are classified into equal area orthomorphic or we, we called it equal area uh, that is homolographic orthomorphic the shape and azimuthal and the equal distant projections Equal area projection is also called homolographic projection. It is that projection in which areas of various parts of the earth are represented correctly. Orthomorphic or true shape projection. Orthomorphic or true shape projection is one in which shapes of various areas are portrayed correctly. The shape is generally maintained at the cost of the correctness of area. Okay. So shape is maintained but area get distorted. Now azimuthal or true bearing projection is one on which the direction of all points from the center is correctly represented. So direction is correctly represented on an azimuthal projection, azimuthal or true bearing projection. Okay. Equal distance or equidistance or true scale projection is that where the distance of a scale is correctly maintained. So you can see that to maintain the four different properties of our globe, we need four different kinds of projection otherwise it is not possible right so we are failing to maintain more than one property by using a single uh, map projection method you can say it however there is no such projection which maintains the scale correctly th throughout but this equidistance or true scale projection is also not always maintaining its scale correctly it can be maintained correctly only along some selected parallels and meridians as per the requirement okay then source of light on the basis of location of source of light projections may be classified as mnemonic stereographic and orthographic so this is also very important Ki on the basis of source of light we got mnemonic uh, projection stereographic projection and orthographic projection mnemonic projection is obtained by putting the light at the center of the globe so when light is at the center of the globe, we call it mnemonic projection. Stereographic projection is drawn when the source of light is placed at the periphery of the globe. So when the light is placed at the periphery of the globe, we call it a stereographic projection at a point diametrically opposite to the point at which the plane surface touches the globe. Uh, okay, just remember that when the light is outside, uh, sorry periphery of the globe not outside periphery of the globe it is called a stereographic projection when it is on the center it is called a mnemonic projection and when orthographic projection is drawn when the source of light is, is placed at infinity from the globe opposite to the point at which the plane surface touches the globe now this infinity means what is this so orthographic projection is something else right source of light is placed at infinity from the globe opposite to the point at which the plane surface touches the globe now constructing some selected projections 
conical projection with the one standard parallel okay so this is talking about the construction part and we'll just go through once because this is not very important because uh, in in uh, exams like i mean talking about the competitive exams like emrs pgt tgt of nvs or whatever uh, okay they usually have not told you about this uh, drawing this is important for the uh, school exams college exams you know semesters etc so let's have a read just a conical projection is one which is drawn by projecting the image of the graticule of a globe on a developable cone which touches the globe along a parallel of latitude called the standard parallel as the cone touches the globe located along ab the position of this parallel on the globe coinciding with that on the cone is taken as the standard parallel the length of other parallels on the other side is the parallel are distorted so we'll just see the picture we'll about this uh, calculation part and all so let's have a look this this is the cone shaped you know the uh, your developable surface you can see your developable surface so it is touching this uh, parallel in this parallel so this is your standard parallel right this is the standard parallel you can say this is it, 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 it that standard parallel 40 degrees taken a standard parallel okay it is 40 degrees yeah so this is the system of drawing a conical projection and if you are interested definitely you can practice with by following these steps if you have your in your uh, school board or semester exams this uh, this year uh, this topic definitely just read this and follow the steps and you will easily understand what is the process of drawing it now properties all the parallels are arcs of concentric circle and are equally spaced all meridians are straight lines marching at the pole the meridians intersect the parallels at right angles the scale along all meridians is true that is distances along the meridians are accurate and arc of a circle represents the pole the scale is true <coughs> along the standard parallel but exaggerated away from the standard parallel so the scale is true only along the standard parallel right meridians become closer to each other towards the pole this projection is neither equal area nor orthomorphic orthomorphic means shape okay so this projection is neither equal area nor orthomorphic so what it is doing the conical projection is doing its uh, what is maintaining this projecting image reticule okay okay we, we will get this what is the merits and demerits i think here you can see properties so we see the properties of conical position now see the limitations so limitations part and then we have uses so it is not suitable for a world map due to extreme distortions in the hemisphere opposite the one in which the standard parallel is selected even within the hemisphere it is not suitable for representing larger areas as the distortion along the pole and near the equator is larger so there is very much distortion neither shape is maintained and neither the uh, here the area is uh, maintained okay both are distorted area and shape now uses this projection is commonly used for showing areas of mid latitudes with limited latitudinal and larger longitudinal extent here this is the uses we keep mid latitudes so to draw a map of mid latitudes we use the conical projections you can remember this point a long narrow strip of land running parallel to the standard parallel and having east west stretch is correctly shown on this projection so only the parallel where, where it is touches the surface of the globe 
uh, that area uh, gets represented very uh, very accurately direction along standard parallel is used to show railways roads narrow river valleys and international boundaries this projection is suitable for showing the canadian uh, pacific railways so this is also an fyx and railway lines of trans siberian railway canadian pacific railway international boundary between us and canada and the uh, normoda valley okay so we can show the normoda valley by using this conical projection you should remember this with this facts key conical projection was specific very specific facts the conical projection is suitable for showing the canadian pacific railway trans siberian railway international boundary between usa and canada and the normoda valley let's move on to the cylindrical equal area projection so on conical projection there is one standard parallel is used and that standard parallel uh, where it the area or uh, nearby standard parallel is accurately represented on the map and this conical projection is mainly used for mid latitudes and it can it, it can show railway lines international boundaries very accurately even the normal the value we can show Uh, with the help of a conical projection now cylindrical equality projection so now uh, the name indicate that here area is not distorted the cylindrical equality projection also known as lambert's projection so you should remember this name lambert's projection because uh, he has discovered it has been derived by projecting the surface of the globe with parallel rays of a on a cylinder so this is also cylinder touching it at the equator okay Because this is cylindrical equality projection, so shape is same, developable surface is same, cylinder, uh, but the the where it touches, it touches the equator. Both the parallels and meridians are projected as straight lines intersecting one another at right angles. So just like the Mercator projection, parallels and um, parallels and meridians are projected as straight lines. The pole is shown with a parallel. Equal to the equator. Here pole is also parallel. So this is very important property. Ki in which type of projection the pole is shown as a parallel line. Definitely that is the equal area projection. Hence the shape of the area gets highly distorted at the high latitude, and that's why the shape is not at all maintained because pole is a point, and we are converting it at a in a uh, whole equator like you know equator like a line, right? straight line that's why the shape is got highly distorted uh, in the cylindrical equal area projection so these are the properties let us see the uh, all other properties all parallels and meridians are straight lines intersecting each other at right angle polar area is also equal to the equator scale is true only along the equator so you should remember this scale is true only along the equator now limitation distortion increases as we move towards the pole and the projection is non orthomorphic shape is not maintained equality of area is maintained at the cost of distortion in shape so equality of area is maintained in this cylindrical equality of projection uses the projection is most suitable for the area lying between uh, 45 degree north and south latitudes so here you can see that the area uh, this cylindrical equality of projection is uh, suitable for the area lying between 45 degree north and south latitude it is suitable to show the distribution of tropical crops like rice tea coffee rubber sugar cane right so we can show the distribution of tropical uh, tropical crops with the help of uh, cylindrical equal area projection now move on to the next projection type that is marketer's projection so a dutch cartographer marketer Gerardus Karmer developed this projection in 1569. The projection is based on mathematical formula, so it is an orthomorphic projection. Orthomorphic means it's maintaining the shape in which the correct shape is maintained. The distance between parallels increases towards the pole-like cylindrical projection. No, sorry, poles. The distance between parallels increases towards the pole. Like cylindrical projection, the parallels and meridians intersect each other at right angle it has the characteristics of showing correct direction okay so here you can say it is a orthomorphic projection but it shows the direction correctly 
showing correct direction a straight line joining any two points on this projection gives a constant bearing which is called a laxodrome or ram line we already read read this in the glossary part okay so a straight line joining any two points on this projection marketer's projection is called the laxodrome or ram line so this is the marketer projection let us see its properties uses and all you can see it looks like this okay the space between two latitudes increasing towards this pole you can see and no property so all parallels and meridians are straight lines and they intersect each other at right angles two all parallels have the same length which is equal to the length of the equator the all meridians have the same length and equal spacing but they are longer than the corresponding meridian on the globe spacing between parallels increases towards this pole scale along the equator is correct as it is equal to the length of the equator on the globe but other parallels are longer than the corresponding parallel on the globe hence the scale is not correct along them for example the 30 degree parallel is 1.154 times longer than the corresponding parallel on the globe shape of the area is maintained but at higher latitudes distortions take place shape is maintained okay but nearby equator but at the poles it gets distorted shape is also maintained direction is also maintained the shape of small countries near the equator is truly preserved you can see shape is truly preserved near the equator uh, while it increases towards this pole okay shape of small countries uh, is got increased because if you see the greenland it looks very large in the market projection it is an azimuthal projection so you can see this is an azimuthal projection so market projection is a type of azimuthal projection uh, what was azimuthal projection this is an orthomorphic projection too as scale along the meridian is equal to the scale along to the parallel so azimuthal projection just see once again what is azimuthal projection recall it okay so you see genital here and where was azimuthal yes this is azimuthal or true bearing projection direction of all points are maintained here okay so orthomorphic shape is maintained to some extent near the equator and azimuthal means true bearing projection or direction is maintained that is azimuthal projection that's why marketer projection is a azimuthal projection as well as a orthomorphic projection okay okay so what was this yes this is an orthomorphic question as a scale along the meridian is equal to the scale along the parallel now limitations there is a great exaggeration of scale along the parallels and meridians in high latitudes as a result size of the countries near the pole is highly exaggerated for example the size of greenland equals to the size of usa whereas it is one by tenth of usa this is talking about market projection definitely poles in this projection cannot be shown as 90 degree parallel and meridian touching them are infinite now usage more suitable for a world map and widely used in preparing atlas maps right so market projection is used in preparing atlas maps atlas maps right very useful for navigation purpose showing sea routes and air routes drainage pattern oceans currents temperature winds and their direction distribution of worldwide rainfall and other weather elements are appropriately shown on this map so most of the projections you can see most of the maps uh, used on our books this is based on the this type of map so you can see those are based on the marketers projection so this is a very very important uh, type of projection right so here we came to the end of the chapter and just have a look at the exercise part so choose the right answer from the four alternatives given below a map projection least suitable for the world map which one least suitable for the world map so for world map we use marketer projection and simple cylindrical uh, is also used for you know i think conical will be the answer here least suitable okay all of the above i think uh, never can have b so definitely answer kariyega comment mein uh, one two three karke aap likhega answer kya hoga a, a map projection that is neither the equal area nor the correct shape and even the directions are also incorrect so what is this map so that is the uh, directions nothing is maintained here so who, 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 who what is what is that map simple conical polar genital marketer or cylindrical so simple conical polar genital 
market and cylindrical nothing is maintained you know uh, shape is not maintained area is not maintained and even direction is not maintained so can you answer comment me a map projection having correct direction and correct shape but area greatly exaggerated pole what is it? definitely this is very easy marketer uh, when the source of light is placed at the center of the globe that is mnemonic okay answer the following questions in about 30 words so describe the elements of map projection what do you mean by global property not a single map projection represents the globe truly why with this see and how is the area kept equal in cylindrical equal area projection okay and difference between developable and non-developable surfaces homolographic and orthographic projections normal and oblique projections parallels of latitude and meridians of longitude okay answer the following questions in not more than 125 words so discuss the criteria used for classifying map projection and state the major characteristics of each type of projection which map projection is very useful for navigational purposes explain the properties and limitations of this projection so talking about the marketer's projection discuss the main properties of conical projection which with one standard parallel and describe its major limitation so build a habit to uh, see this exercise portions as well definitely and this is a mandatory for UPSC aspects because uh, you will get uh, understanding you know uh, the questions because uh, the uh, who I, I saw some videos on that and the uh, who did the analysis uh, for example IAS PCS Partsala uh, channel then Sivin sir uh, they talk about this uh, idea ki you should see the exercise portion of uh, NCIT books sometimes questions are directly asked from this portion right and that's it so at least you if you don't write the answers try to uh, think on it okay try to frame an answer in your mind and definitely that gonna help you so we have completed this chapter 4 that is about uh, map projections and here is given an activity you can try definitely so thanks for watching we are stopping this video here and in our next video we will read this chapter 5 that is about topographical maps thank you friends